hi and welcome back with another tutorial video so in this video we will be looking at our gizmo and how we can use it for the posing and uh, how we can use it for adding or inserting multiple meshes and adding deformers in it so let's open this uh, demo folder so as you can see that this tool has uh, multiple sub tools uh, this tool has multiple sub tools in it you can see that there are a lot of sub tools here and if i click on uh, this uh, show wireframe you can see that it has multiple sub tools uh, on it as well M multiple poly groups sorry so if i can if i want to pause it and uh, let's let's first open the kismo so you can press w key on your keyboard or you can uh, you can click on this button here and uh, sorry this is my personal ui so if i just uh, restore my standard ui yeah this is standard ui you can see these three buttons here we have move scale rotate and uh, there is this button here which is uh, showing that this is 3d gears move activated and if i click on it and turn it off you can see that now we have transpose line so 3d gizmo is uh, new to zbrush it was introduced a few years back and uh, before that uh, it was just the transpose line so for all you, you can see that 3d gizmo doesn't change if you press on any of these three buttons because it can do all the same all the three things in just uh, one look so the 3d gizmo is very important you can see multiple uh, edge is here so let's just uh, look at how we can change it up let's turn off the symmetry so so the thing is we can just move it along these axes however we want so that's pretty self-evident so we can scale it up on the axis we want by clicking on each and every axis and if I want to scale on, uh, for example, Y and the Z axis, I can just click on Alt and click on this uh, X axis here and it will scale on the Y and the Z axis. So if I want to scale it up on the X and Z axis, I will press Alt and scale it up and it, uh, it is scaling now on, on the X and Z axis, on two axis right now. And if I want to scale on all three axes, I can just click on this middle button here and I can just scale it up. So, and uh, if I want to move uh, on all uh, on these axes, I can do that. And you can see that there is these uh, arrows on here. So this thing moves on the basis of your camera angle so for example if i'm looking at this way so it will be moving this along this uh, these two axes and if i'm looking from the front then it will be moving it along these two axes so if you want to move something uh, along according to your camera angle you can just uh, click on this and if you want to move along a specific axis you can just click on this arrows here so uh, yeah uh, it is very important but if i want to just uh, move this pivot how can i do that you can see that there is this lock here and if you click on this and then you will be able to move your gizmo to wherever you want so you can also just uh, so if you want to move it uh, again for example if i just unlocked it Move it here and I then locked it again and I will be able to rotate from this pivot here. So it is very important that you lock it again in order to move or rotate or scale. And there is some other button here which is uh, this uh, mesh orientation. So unlock it and reset to the mesh orientation which is for example if I have this gizmo in this weird position and I just want to reset it up and want to uh, reset it to the 
starting position so I can just click on this button and it will reset my gizmo because I'm in unlock mode and if it wasn't like this and it wasn't in unlock mode and that I just clicked on this reset button you can see that it moved the model along with it as well so you should unlock it and then click on this reset button and it will just reset your gizmo there are some other button which is uh, uh, go to the un unmasked mesh center which is for example right now all of this uh, thing is unmasked and i can just click on it and it will uh, be back in the center and for example if for example let's see so this is the only portion which is unmasked right now and if i click on it then it will automatically automatically bring here in the center so this is very important when you are transposing and or when you are posing your character or moving objects or scaling objects uh, uh, based on the mask so it's very important that you should uh, pivot it accordingly. So there is one more button here which is um, go, go to the axis which is uh, the center of our scene not the center of our object. So for example, if our object was here, let's lock it up, if our object was here and I click on this button, I unlock it, click on this button here and uh, you can see it's in the center. But if I click on this home button, it will bring uh, this pivot in the center of the mesh or the, or the center of the scene you can say. So in some cases, for example, if I was uh, working with symmetry and I move my object, you can see that my one dot is here while my other dot is uh, appearing here on this side. So which is means that I have lost my symmetry. So I can just bring it into the center. I can just lock it, bring it to the center and you can say that I have my symmetry again. So it will be visible like for example, I just moved it here just a little bit. And you can see that my symmetry is weird right now. So I can just restore my symmetry by clicking on this button here. And now I have my symmetry back on. So it is very important to use your gizmo. So here you can see that uh, I was. So here you can see that. Uh, I wasn't just unlocking it, I can just, uh, I was just moving it like this and rotating it up and then working it like this. So, so you can uh, just click on this lock and unlock button or you can just hold alt and you can see it locking and unlocking. So I can just hold uh, alt and move it wherever I want, change position, orient it and uh, you can see that it's working perfectly and I can just rotate it when I want. So you can just click on this uh, alt button and unlock it and do whatever you want on the gizmo. So there is one more thing that I want to cover which is uh, this uh, checkbox here. So if I want to move uh, multiple meshes right now you can see that I, I cannot do that. I can only move this mesh and then select this mesh and then move it here as well. So, but if I want to move multiple meshes, which, uh, so how can I do that? I can just click on this checkbox here and you can see that nothing has been changed. But if I move, I'm moving all of the meshes right now. So if I control shift, click and drag while this gizmo is activated and this checklist is activated, you can see that all of these uh, sub tools have changed their entering. So if I move this gizmo right now, no, none of the objects will be moving with it. So if I control shift and tap on some of the sub tools and yes. So if I control shift and tap on some of the sub tools and which I want to move. So for example, I want to move these three sub tools. I can just move it here and I can just turn it off and then now uh, it's not in multi-select mode so if i move this i will be only moving this sub tool here so very important that uh, you know how to move your sub tools so for example if i am i want to uh, transpose or move this character move this uh, to pose this character so i cannot do this with this thing i mean 
how can I just uh, mask and rotate all of this thing I'm just only masking from one sub tool uh, which is not possible here so what I can do is right now if I go to my C plugin and uh, click on this transpose master I can just click this button here and dock it to the side I want it on this side I can just close it up and you can see that let's shrink it up so if I click on this button you can see that right now I have only one Z tool which contains 11 sub tools right now but if I click on this T pose mesh you can see that I have uh, all the lowest sub level levels uh, have been combined into a single sub tool and we have this and if I want to move this so if I control while well, in the gizmo mode if I control and click here as you can see right now uh, you can see that it has masked this area off you can see I'm control clicking and it is just masking this area off which is very important for posing as you can see I'm posing I can easily pose this mesh out so you can see that we have multiple sub tools I can just isolate it up if I just go to my standard brush control shift click isolate it up and clear this mask by control clicking and then control shift tap to return back and yeah so for example I can do this here as well I can just uh, go to my mask brush and uh, hold uh, control and alt and then just deselect this mask so I will be able to move this uh, head this armband along with it so for example if I want to move this uh, as well so here so you can see that it was uh, difficult to mask this portion with a square uh, with a square or a rectangle so I can just come here on this masking brush and click on it and can you so you can see that I can use all of these masking brush so I can just click on this mask lasso and just mask it like this invert the mask go to move tool uh, bring it here reset the pivot and just move it like this so you can see that it's not working correctly because the, this mask is super sharp right now I can just smooth it out control click to invert control click on the mesh to smooth control click to invert and just move it back like this so very important that you know how to pose your sub tools I can just mask it again invert the mask move the gizmo here check it whether it's in the center or not so rotate it along the camera angle and you can see that it's uh, doing the still uh, doing the same so I can just smooth the mask and invert it and then just pick it up from there yeah so well it was it is just a way of showing like how I can just move my sub tools however I want so if I move this sub tool and uh, I want the, these all of these sub tools in the same pose as well so I can just uh, click on this uh, T pose to sub tool and it will transfer my pose on all of those sub tools and if I come back here and see that the, my meshes are behaving uh, weirdly or my pose is not good I can just go back here mask this one out and uh, I can just mask these meshes out as well so yeah so the faces were not masked here so I can just mask it out like this and uh, move it into place so some meshes were still uh, unmasked but it's okay I'll, I'm just trying to show you how you can just move it let's clean it
Okay, so I'm getting these faces from here. So you can see that now it's clean and I can just do it one more time and invert the mask Move it here and So it's just a way of showing I'm just doing it uh, Very harshly so if I was posing it for my uh, Professional work. I would take my time and clean up all those masks and move it very gently, and then uh, sculpt and tweak like this, and clean these meshes here, and which is also very important. So like this, I would clean these meshes here like this. So the brush is uh, very easy uh, when you are posing your character so I can just click on T-Post to sub tool again and it will move all my meshes like this. So super important and super useful for your transposing your character. So there are some other things that you can do with the gizmo as well. For example if I select this polymesh 3D I can just uh, open my gizmo click on this gear icon and uh, change it to any of these primitives here. And uh, you can see that there are three sliders here, which is for adding subdivisions on these three axes. So I can just undo it and add a ring 3D. So you can see that this is uh, my ring primitive and I can just add and twist and add more divisions to it. I can just tweak some part of it and or tweak both of it and uh, I can else also add multiple modifiers like this bend arc here and uh, yeah so let's see I can just bend it however I want on this angle so it is very important that uh, you know all these modifiers and you can bend it accordingly. So, so the gizmo is not just... Uh, so if you are satisfied with uh, whatever uh, you have done with your gizmo, you should just accept it. And now it's just a simple mesh and now you can just sculpt on it. So gizmo is very important it's very powerful tool there's a lot of these uh, uh, deformers that you can use it has bevels and others so you can see that lots of deformers that you can use so you can just uh, play around with all these deformers and uh, I haven't uh, even used all these deformers so you can just play around and uh, uh, use all those deformers and uh, let tweak them however you want so and yeah so it is very important that uh, you use gizmo and uh, it is used for many things not just posing moving and scaling but also adding the formers and lots of other stuff so this was all i know about gizmo so see you in the next video